Last year, more than 5,000 people in the United States were killed in distracted driving-related crashes. Few are as outspoken as U.S. Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood. So when you get in your car, buckle up and put your cell phone in the glove compartment. LaHood recently launched a campaign to bring awareness to the problem. The bus and the truck caught on fire and Marge was killed in that fire. It includes stories from people who've lost loved ones because of drivers texting or talking. The investigating officer told me that she was re retrieving a text at the time of the accident. The transportation secretary says he's on a personal crusade that could include a radical approach, a cell phone kill switch for vehicles. In a recent national TV interview, LaHood said, quote, I think it will be done. I'm not in favor of that at all. I think that's definitely an invasion of someone's rights. I think it's a great idea. I think there are, t there are way too many people who are driving while they're talking. I think that's a mistake because uh, you, sometimes you need to make a call from your car. For this to work, the government would have to require that every vehicle be outfitted with a cell phone jammer. A jammer is a device that emits signals on the same frequency level that cell phones use, essentially canceling out the transmission. A cell phone jammer wouldn't just keep the driver from talking and texting, it would shut down every phone in the car, potentially even blocking emergency calls. Another way to force people to hang up and drive, software in the phones that deactivates them when they reach a certain speed. The technology is too new to endorse it or say it makes sense. John Donahue is the CEO of Quincy-based Arbella Insurance. He runs the company's Distractology 101 program where new drivers learn the dangers of distracted driving on a simulator instead of out on the road. I always had to say about mandates. I think it just creates all these enforcement issues that gets you away from the real topic. And if this technology were to be mandated, noted Boston attorney Howard Friedman says it would violate basic civil rights. Some people use their cell phones for navigation. There's, a, there's an industry in that, and now they couldn't do that. Of course, that would mean they would have to do what? pull out a map and be reading a paper map while they're trying to drive, which actually is even harder to do. No message or call is worth the risk. LaHood has since pulled back from his original comments, up. saying the Department of Transportation is looking at all ways to curb distracted driving. It appears, though, the option is still on the table, the government turning your car into a cell phone dead zone. I'm Ted Daniel, Fox 25 News.